it is not our duty to raise the debt limit. It's our duty to not spend uh, so recklessly and so egregiously, irresponsibly, that we bankrupt this country and we rob our children of their freedoms and the opportunities that we've all been blessed with as Americans. That's our duty. I won't give Republicans a pass on this, colleagues. This place is broken. We play by a different set of rules, if we're honest, than the American people. The pay-fors just for the infrastructure bill are total jokes. It's a gimmick. It's Enron accounting scams. People in our country who operate that way would be thrown in prison. So we're all accountable, okay? But I have never seen this kind of spending spree to accelerate the curse that we are putting on the heads of our children. James Madison said, a public debt is a public curse. And in a Republican government, a greater curse than any other. Trillions of dollars have been spent. We were promised bipartisanship, restoration of unity in this place, jamming more bipartisan spending bills, starting with COVID, which was a bailout of union pensions, which was a bailout of blue states and Democrat-run cities. Very little went to COVID. That's deception. And we're accelerating what Admiral Mullen said was the greatest threat to the United States. He said the greatest threat to our national security was our national debt. So we've promised the cradle to grave cash entitlements and more handouts without any regard to responsibility, without any requirement for work, and we're gonna bankrupt the next generation. We're gonna steal from them what we've enjoyed. This is not a profiling courage, and uh, Madam Speaker, I urge my colleagues to reconsider all of this spending that's bankrupting the country. I urge them to vote no on the reconciliation bill. The gentleman's I yield back. Fired.